Hello all. Today I will explain you about the each and every files and folder generated by the Flutter development. So for that we will first create the first Flutter application and then we will explore each and every file. So I am just starting my command prompt. Here in command prompt you can move to the directory where you want to create the Flutter project. So I am just moving to my E drive. Here in eDrive, I'm just moving to the directory that is development. Here, you can just simply write the command that is flutter create and then you can write the name of your project. I want to write the name of my project is, this is the test project. And then you can simply press and enter. So your first flutter project, that is the name of the project is test project will be created and once it is created see it says that the 71 files are created and all done once it is done you can move to your visual studio code here you can just open the folder here in folder you can move to the directory where you have generated the files so i'm simply moving to the e drive development and this is the test project i'm just selecting the project test project folder now so many files are created over here we will simply look into all these files so the first folder created over here that is the idea folder what is the idea folder idea folder contains the configuration for android studio we don't need to change anything over here it will be automatically created the second folder is android folder this folder is important why because it is used by the flutter and it is a passive folder it holds the complete android project but once again remember we don't need to change anything over here another folder is ios folder ios folder is what that is the same as the android folder ios folder is created here if you look carefully then it holds the xcode project Xcode is the development environment of Mac OS for the development of the iOS application. Again, it is a passive folder. It is used by the Flutter. We don't need to change anything over here. Then the very, very important folder is there and that folder is a lib folder. Here there is a one file that is main.dart file is available. Here in this lib folder, we will do the 99% of our work. It is the folder where we can say we will add all our Dart files. So what is Dart? See, if you look carefully over here, then it is a main.dart. Dart is the programming language and which is used by the Flutter to write the code. This is the folder where we will write our code and we will add the Dart files. So this is very important folder. 99% of our work we will write into this particular folder and that folder is a lib folder. Now, after that, if you look carefully, then there is a one more folder that is test folder. It, this is the basic Flutter widget test. And you can say this folder is a folder which is not uh, much important. Again, it is automatically generated by the Flutter. Then after that, there is a one file that is git ignore. Git ignore is a source code management tool which allows us to create the snapshot of our code and we can save the same so we can manage the history of our code so for example i did the one code today and tomorrow i make some changes then the both code will be saved in the git ignore file so git ignore is a source code management tool there is one more file that is metadata metadata file is not the file that we will work on it will manage automatically by the flutter so we don't need to do anything over here dot packages is also an automatically generated file so again we don't need to do anything pub spec dot log it is automatically generated based on the yaml file but what yaml file is let me mention over here this is the file that allows us to mostly manage the dependency of our project so if you want to manage any dependency, then we can write over here. Here you can configure which other third party package your project is using. You can also configure some other things like, for example, if you think that I want to write up over here the um, fonts, 
then you can connect the font. If you think that I want to add the images in our application, then you can do over here. This is the basically configuration file that allows us to configure how our application work on which external dependency it has. All this information is available in pubspec.yaml file. And based on this YAML file, this log file is automatically generated. This is simply holds the more details about all the dependency. If you look carefully over here, then it holds the information about the dependencies you have. And it is required by the Flutter. And after that, there is a one file that is readme.md. This is the file that is automatically generated and it holds the information about your project. Here you can make some changes. Yeah, this is the read only file and you can make the changes and you can share with your developers. So it will be easily accessible by them also. And at last, there is one file that is test project.iml file. This file has the name, which is the name of, of your project. So your project.iml file. Again, it is automatically generated file. But most importantly, we will work on two files. One is that is in a label folder, main.dat, and another one that is pubspec.yaml file. Here in main.dat, we can make the changes wherever you want to make the changes. For example, if you want to change the text, then you can change the text over here. For example, if you want to change this text, then you can take in the this text also now suppose if you think that sir i want to execute the first application how can i so very simple you can just click on terminal you can click on new terminal once your terminal is started over here it will take the default path that is the test project here you can simply write flutter run and whenever you write flutter run it will load your project that it will run your project into android emulator or in iOS simulator. So once you run this particular code, you will be able to see the output over here. See here, the code is executed. Once your code is executed, here you can just click on this button. Whenever you click on this button, the counter will be increment, right? Now I want to change the text over here. That is, you have pushed the button this many times. So if you want to make the changes into the code, then you can make the changes into the Dart file. Right? But this is the default code of Dart. We can make the changes over here. For example, uh, you clicked the button. I'm just making the changes. That is, you click the button. Right? And here, your counter will be printed over here. You can simply save this. Once you save, then you can just type R over here. It will be hot reloaded. Once it hot reloaded, over here you can check you click the button see the text is changed over here so this is all about a generated folder and file information even we can change make the changes into the dart file in the very next lecture i will show you how to work with the flutter using dart so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all